What's up guys? All right, today's the day I start installing my Yunli sine wave controllers. Looking at these, I was trying to determine which is the A controller and which is the B controller. And the only thing I could find was this indication here that just says A slash B. Same on the other one, it says A slash B. Um, and if you'll notice there at the bottom, there's a website, www.ordospeed.com. I also had my wife look at these, she's Chinese, and she said these two labels are identical. There's no difference between them. I think the cable determines which is A, which is a front motor, or B, which is a back motor. Somewhere online, I don't remember where, I saw a picture of controllers and they had written in A and B on them. And the B one, the rear one, had the red wire going to it. So the best I can uh, think of for now is the two controllers are the same, but when you plug the one with the red wire onto one of them, that then becomes the rear or the B controller. So as I do any time I, I tear down a scooter like this, I always want to wire up my motors first, get my, my front and rear motors running, uh, and that's you know half the battle. Then after that, I'll hook up the, the lights and the brake sense and all the remaining stuff. But first, I want to see both motors running properly, you know, the dual mode, single mode, so I have the two controllers connected now via that cable harness there. Um, the one with the red wire, you can see on the bottom left corner, it's going into this one. So from this point on, I'm calling that my rear or B controller. And then there's the other side over there. So that's gonna be my front controller. No red wire in the corner like this one has. So I actually really like how they did this. Um, we have kind of two different sets of cables. We have all these kind of loose cables here um, And they have to do largely with your motor and of course your battery connection So just very quick here. You have your three motor phase wires The thicker blue green and yellow You have your battery power connection, of course And you have the square plug which is your hall uh, effect connection also, there's two single white wires that stick out of it. That's actually for uh, a learning mode. So just for clarity of this video, I'm not gonna put my battery back in so I have more room here uh, just to spread stuff out. I have my controllers in the chassis here, just sitting here, making sure I have the one with the red wire, which I'm calling my rear controller in the rear, the other one in the front. So the first thing I'm gonna do in my case uh, is cut off these wire lugs on the phase motor wires, the green, blue, and yellow. Um, and because I'm just testing these right now, I'm going to just temporarily use wire nuts on the connections. So I'm going to wire up my rear controller to my rear motor, the phase wires, and same with the front. So as Pokemon is our website again, and again up under the menus there, there's one for support info. You click on that, and there's a couple PDS, one wiring diagram for the controllers, and another one for the self-study. Uh, the learning process for the controllers. So I emailed those two files to myself so I could open them as PDFs and look at this, this is this is nice. Uh, complete wiring diagram, there's two separate ones, one if you have one of those LCD displays, which I do, it's the MS668, and there's another one down there if you have uh, a QSS4 display. Um, so really good documentation. Um, then the other one is the learn mode. So really like these guys, great information on their website. So I connected my phase wires from what I'm calling the rear controller now. Again, I couldn't find any information on which way you should do this. Um, so I did it the same way as the old controllers did, yellow to yellow, but then swapping the green and the blue. Anyway, these controllers have a learn function on them, so I don't think this is terribly important. I think it automatically learns the wiring. The wires on the hall connector are these new controllers. In other words, the red on the right, the black on the left on top, and then blue, green, yellow along the bottom there. They are the same as the old connectors from the uh, old JP controllers. So they're the same. I'm going to leave them like that. Got the motor wires hooked up to both controllers, both the phase wires. Um, and also I plug the hall wires together. It comes with this new display, which also has this new display cable. I'm not going at this time run it up through my stem. I'll do another video on how I do that. Right now I just want to connect it up and make things work. The end of this cable, uh, opposite of the plug that plugs onto the display, there's two connectors, um, both female. One's a three pin, one's a two pin. The two pin is green and yellow wires. 
the three pin has red, blue, and black wires. If I look at the wiring diagram from the Ordu Speed website for my display, which is the MS668, and look for the LCD connections, there's two connectors there, a three pin with red, blue, black wires, three pin male, so obviously that will plug on to our three pin female, red, blue, black, and there's a two pin male with green and white wires that will plug on to our two pin female that has green and yellow wires. So over here on the side coming of our cable harness, I found a two pin male with green and white wires, which is gonna to plug to our two pin females, green and yellow, and a three pin male, red, blue, black, that's gonna plug on to our three pin female that has red, blue, black. I have the display connected. Next thing I need to do is uh, connect up where the alarm would be. Looking back at our wiring diagram, I found this one that says voltage lock and it shows a positive or red wire on top, an orange wire on the bottom, black one in the middle. That's where your alarm would plug onto that connector right there. So that's the connector we're looking for, a red, a black, and an orange wire. So here it is, coming out of the cable harness, three pin female with red, black, and orange wires. This is where you would plug on your alarm module. Okay, again, so that's where you would plug on your alarm module. Um, in my case, I removed that and I just wired up a kill switch. So that's what this plug is going to, my kill switch on the handlebars. The next thing I wanna hook up is my uh, single dual motor mode switch, as well as what would be the eco mode switch. So there's going to be a cable coming down from your stem from those two switches, the dual motor mode and the eco turbo switch. And at this end, it, there's going to be two two-pin male connectors, one with red and yellow wires, the other with blue and green wires. The red and yellow wire connector is for the eco turbo mode. One with the blue and green wires is for your single and dual motor mode switch. Looking back at the connection diagram, there's the single dual mode, and it looks like it's a two-pin female both blue wires. So a two pin female, two blue wires is what we're looking for. And we're gonna to wanna to connect that up to our cable with the green and blue wire going to the two pin male, because that goes up to our single dual motor mode switch. So there's the two blue wires coming on the cable harness to the two pin female. And I have that connected again to the green and blue two pin male that's coming on the cable with this red and yellow two pin mail. Uh, okay, so now the next one's the eco turbo switch. That's this connector, the red and yellow two pin mail. So looking back here at the diagram, there's nothing that says eco turbo mode, but there is something that says speed limit. So I have to believe that's what it is. The two pin female, green and black wires. So I'm going to connect that, the two pin female, green and black wires to our two pin mail red and yellow wires on that same cable. I actually just went to make that connection and realized I can't do that. I've modified my wiring, so I'm using that eco turbo switch as an accessory light because I didn't use eco mode anyway. And here it is, two pin female, green and black wires. That would plug onto your red and yellow wire coming down this cable with the blue and green one. If you just left this disconnected, uh, which is what I'm going to do because this is the eco turbo mode sense line. If you leave it disconnected like this, it should automatically just be in turbo mode all the time. Okay, I think all I need to do is connect my display to this plug here. I got the display connected. I think all I need to do now is connect the battery to the controllers and do the learn process for each motor. Okay, so here's a procedure and it says to do them separately. So I'm going to start with the back one. Um, I've already connected my battery to the rear controller. You do get a spark when you first plug those on due to the large capacitor in there. Um, that's normal. I got my rear one plugged on. I do not have the front one plugged on, just the rear one. Okay, connect power, I did. Connect the white lines. So before I turn on the display, that's the next step, turn on the display. Um, before I do that, I'm going to connect the two white wires that are coming out of the controller. So here they are for my rear controller. Two single white wires coming out. Uh, each two connector, uh, one uh, 
female and a male. Okay, so I have that connected and just kind of laying out the side here because I'm going to have to manipulate it through the learn process. All right, so here I go. Here's the white learn wire here connected. Uh, my rear wheel, I'm going to turn on the display and hopefully see the wheel spin slow and then fast. If it's spinning the right direction, I just connect this wire, wait for the motor to stop. If it's spinning the wrong direction, I still again wait for it to go fast, unplug the wire and wait for it to stop. So that's my first step basically. Uh, okay, I am going to first turn on my kill switch or you would turn on your alarm at this point. No smoke, so that's a good sign. I'm going to now try to turn on my display and hopefully see the wheel start by itself. Okay, display is on. The wheel's going very slow. It's going slowly, but it's going backwards. I want to see if it goes faster or if that's what's considered fast. I'm guessing that's what's considered fast. It's going backwards, so I'm going to disconnect the wires. Wait for it to come to a complete stop. Connect the wires again, and hopefully it'll start going forward by itself. It's going slowly forward. Now it's going fast forward. That's good. Now it's going fast and in the right direction. I want to disconnect the wires again. Wait for it to come to a complete stop. Turn off the display. And I'm also going to hit my kill switch, in which case you would hit your alarm to alarm it. You wait five to 10 seconds, you're done. Um, so we've gone beyond that time now. Now at this point, I don't want to connect the white wires um, really ever again, unless for some reason the, the sequence gets lost and it, it starts going backwards or something, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I may cut these back so they're shorter. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but leave them disconnected once you've learned the motor properly. Uh, okay, so we did the rear motor. Let's do the same thing on the front. Connect on my front controller to the battery. I also have now connected my white wires from the front controller. There it is. Here's the motor. Hmm, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, got it working. I had to have the dual motor switch pushed into the dual motor mode. Within single motor mode, uh, this process won't work. So it's spinning, uh, like I say, fast, going backwards. So I need to disconnect my two wires, wait for the motor to stop, plug them back in. It should then start going forward. Okay, so now I've removed the white wires. Motor stopped, I just wanna power off. I'm gonna hit my kill switch. You could hit your alarm just to kill the power to the controllers. Wait 10 to 15 seconds. You should be good to go then. Again, make sure your white wires are now disconnected. You don't want them connected anymore. That's only for the learn function. Um, okay, I'm going to turn my kill switch back on. You would turn your alarm off. I'm going to now turn my display back on. I'm going to first go to single motor mode. Give it a little throttle. Should only see my rear wheel going. It does, and it's moving forward. Front, wire, uh, front wheel is stable. Now I'm going to put it into dual motor mode and should see both motors going forward. Here's my rear, here's my front, both going forward. Everything's good so far. All right guys, I think that wraps this one up. Um, I'm going to do a second video for the rest of the wiring. So tell you guys, take care, ride safe, peace.